Hello guys and welcome back, this is Player and today I'm going to introduce you another elevator design. This one uses the slime blocks. So recently I've been just, um, investigating on um, elevators like this, play elevators, item elevators, etc. But uh, I think this one works pretty well for uh, players and entities as well, and it is quite survival friendly. So uh, I definitely recommend you using this one in your maybe um, survival or creative world. So let's get right into how this works. <coughs> Firstly, um, you will see there are two sticky pistons um, facing uh, a slime block. Um, this piston will trigger first and then the piston below this block will trigger the second so that um, firstly um, the, the block under us will change to slime block and then the slime block will be pushed upwards which causes us to uh, be bounced upwards and this repeats um, all its way to the top so this is how um, the thing works so as you can see i think it's quite compact um let's see it is like one two three four five six six in height and width one two three four and length one two three four so it is four by four by six which um counts to me is pretty pretty compact so let's jump to the tutorial so the first thing you need of course you need some sticky pistons and um, firstly I will just place pistons like this facing the same um, same block which will be a slime block and then you will put a block above the slime block and then that will be the trigger of the first floor and um, the next thing you want to do is to put a stick piston here and then a block of redstone and then just take the signal from here put a redstone here and then the redstone will run over to here the, the um, redstone repeater so the redstone repeater will then power this redstone and then power this block which powers the push stop um, pushed forward on um, piston right here and then the next thing would be <coughs> there will be a block here and here <coughs> and the rest of the repeater set on two ticks and then two blocks like this and run the rest of the wall so I think that's all for <laughs> for where one floor, the first floor on I me. Mean. Yeah, so this is quite simple actually. And um, for the second floor, you will need to use resin torch to travel the resin signal upwards. And then just put resin torches like this. And then resin repeater. Actually, um, yeah, so like this, and then you put a Stone torch and a stone and the stone repeater facing into a block. This block will be powering the this redstone, which elevator will be here. Block, and then block, block, block. So two ticks and then sticky piston and um, actually another sticky piston here and a sign block yeah so I guess that's all for well I forgot something um, you need to set this in vortex that's what, what I missed it so um, this is actually how, how you do it I think it's actually quite quite easy to do. I'll just make one more floor for demonstration purposes. Um, 
here, and then just a second. Um, another, and then a resonant repeater. Oh, resonant dust, and then resonant torch, and then resonant, and then resonant repeater, and then a block, and then block. Blocks here, and then three. I mean, three blocks like this. Two redstone and stick piston. Just gonna repeat her and redstone, and then another sticky piston, which will be at this position. Actually, here. Oops. Um, and then you need to set this to four ticks, and then you just need to place a block here. So I think that's all for it. Let's just test this. Yeah, so well I think I missed a step here. Yes, this has to be two ticks. Let's let's do it again. Yeah, okay, so now let's test this again. Oops. Um just because of some rest and delay it has to sometimes it doesn't work just for creative or laggy computers. But uh, generally it is safe and um, so I think it's quite easy to build and I recommend you using this design in your, your world. But I think that's all I've got time for today. So I hope you guys, um, this design gives you guys inspirations on how to make elevators using slime blocks. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and well, I just missed one thing, this um, elevator actually works with entities as well, which I just mentioned, I think. Um, so here I'll use armor stain to demonstrate, actually I need to remove this first, okay, yeah, an armor stand and then a button. So, it actually works quite smooth. But as you can see, it is a little bit slower than um, than flying. But um, if you want to just use this for entities, you can just set this delay to um, one tick, and then let's just see what will happen. If you set this into one tick. So if you set that um, this um, repeater to one tick, it will work a, uh, very much faster, but it only works for entities. So as you can see, it works much faster, but it only works for entities, not for players, because um, there may have been a bug that um, um, players are a little bit heavier than other entities, but um, this um, if you set the resonant repeater takes to 4 takes, it works for players because the players are a little bit heavier and um, they'll be calculated a little bit um, slower, I guess. <coughs> so, yeah, I think that's all for this video and this design of elevator. So, I hope you guys will like this video and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. So definitely check out all the elevators that I've done, like um, like the item elevator, which is pretty cool for me. Yeah, so definitely check out all the elevators that I've done and. Um, yeah, so if you guys have any comments, just leave them um, below. Bugs. Okay, so just leave comments um, in the um, under the description. And yeah, come on. Okay, so um, sometimes Minecraft bugs just bothers me. So anyways, I think this is the end of the video and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.